Okay, so now we're going to start. Um, so the sleep series is continuing this week with evening strategies. So the first couple of weeks were morning, what to do during the morning, and those were those strategies were about um, lifting the energy, getting up and getting your energy going. Um, the evening strategies are not surprisingly the opposite. So uh, instead of vigorous exercise, we want to have gentle exercise at night. Instead of activating energy pranayama, we want to have sedating pranayama so that we're calming the nervous system down. And then we want to pay some attention to what we call sleep hygiene. And so if we look here on this next slide, um, this is just a not an exhaustive list, but a pretty good start of a list of the things that can affect our sleep. Um, remember that the things we do during the day affect our sleep at night. Amazing. So you Amazing. want to look at things like your diet, no, she's, uh, the contents, done speaking the quantity, no, and this while this what we're eating. Um, okay, sorry. Just want to make sure make sure everybody's on mute. Yep. Speak now. Hello, Julie. Yes. Hi, Carla. Oh, I wasn't sure. I can't see you, but I can hear you. I saw you, you before. Can you see the slide? No. You don't. I, only, you I don't, don't know what. What are you seeing? Black with it says your microphone is unmuted, your video is stopped, and its circle says done speaking. All right. So uh, in terms of diet, you want to look at the contents, the quantity, and the quality of what you're eating. Um, oh, you know that alcohol is a, um, a factor for sleep. Mm -hmm. Timing of meals. You want to make sure that you don't eat too late in the evening because then the body uh, is active digesting. So you want to eat earlier rather than too late. Um, we want vigorous exercise in the morning, gentle exercise at night. Um, we want evening activities to be um, decreasing the stimulation and decreasing the blue screens that you're um, watching um, if you're having trouble falling and getting to sleep. Even things like um, if you watch um, news that kind of gets you riled up, maybe watch your news in the morning. Um, if you love okay. action adventure movies, but they, um, they get you riled up, watch them during the day or, or on a weekend or something like that. Um, so sleep environment, you want to pay attention to the light, the noise, the temperature, and the bedding that are a couple of the factors in your room. Um, a, you know, a dark room is helpful. Um, some people like white noise, some people like no noise. Cooler temperature is t supposed to be better. And then whatever bedding you need to be comfortable. Uh, a consistent evening routine is helpful. Um, managing stress is very helpful so that you don't find that when you lay down to go to bed at night, um, all of a sudden, that's when you're starting to do all of your stress management. You don't want that to happen. You want to manage it during the day. And the ideal sleep time is 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So that may not line up with what you're currently doing. If you're having trouble with sleep, there's a whole host of things you can try. This list is a starting place. Okay. Um, so the, the before bed strategies, unplug at least an hour before bed. Read or knit or do a crossword puzzle, do some yoga, but do something where you're beginning to, to consciously unwind from the day. That's what I mean by unplug. Um, a calming yoga practice is a great idea. Um, the components of this kind of practice at night, slow movements, right and left side integration, so that we can um, uh, sort of uh, bring the mind into a, a steadier state. Sometimes, as I said earlier, when we lay down, the mind suddenly gets busy. So if we do some right left movement before we lay down, it has a way of calming that tendency down. We'll be doing belly inhale, where we'll be letting the belly really expand on the inhale, and then a longer exhale. That's what we'll be working with in this practice today. 
and then we'll do a deep relaxation session as well. Um, other things you can try, self-massage with Ayurvedic oil. Um, I love Banyan Botanicals. That's just a personal um, testimonial. They have one called Sleep Easy Oil. You can massage it into the feet, put some socks on. And um, for me, it's a really nice little evening ritual. I can talk to you more about oils at another time if you're interested. And then just some kind of bedtime ritual, simple. This is an example, some yoga, sip a little water, have a moment of contemplation or gratitude, and then um, go to sleep. You can have whatever little ritual works for you, um, but just be conscious of the fact that you are um, making an intention to head to sleep. If, for, for those who are having trouble sleeping, if you don't actually make a conscious intention to set a bed ritual and set a bedtime, um, that can be problematic. So it may be something as simple as saying, I'm getting ready for bed now. So the pranayama practice at the end will be what we call alternate nostril exhale. So if you look at the chart, we'll inhale through both nostrils. We will exhale through a partially blocked left nostril. The, the right nostril will be fully blocked. Then we'll inhale through both and we'll exhale through a partially blocked right nostril. The left one will be fully blocked. So there, the picture here on this uh, slide gives something of an idea, but I made a little video of myself and I hope this will show. So I'm inhaling, now I'm fully blocking the, the right and partially blocking the left. This is a, a, um, a mirror image. Now I'm inhaling through both. And then I'm fully blocking the right and partially blocking, or sorry, fully blocking the left and partially blocking the right. And I think I go through that one more time. I'm inhaling through both. And with my thumb, I'm fully blocking the right, partially blocking the left with my ring finger. And then I'm inhaling through both and I'm fully blocking the left with my ring finger and partially blocking the right. So that was two rounds that we just saw on that video. Okay, so um, I'll take us through this at the end. All right, so um, before we go on, I just wanna invite anybody um, to come back on if you have any questions at all about the technique with the breath. Everybody's good? Just checking? Okay. All righty. So, Julie? Yes. Chuck. Hi. Hi. Um, is the pranayama for this different than, are there other pranayamas? Because I've, I haven't done it with like, for example, one block and one partially block. Well, in this lineage of yoga, it's always one blocked and the other one partially blocked. Okay. So okay. that's, um, there are different techniques and different ways of doing it, but the, I, I don't want to, um, I can stay after and talk about the, the reason okay. for that, but it has to do with valving. It has to do with creating a valve and lengthening the breath. Um, but sometimes to make it easier, yoga teachers will say, and I've done it, and I'll say it right now, if partially blocking is too frustrating and you don't get it, then just fully block one and then fully block the other. Okay? Does that make sense? And, and don't partially block at all. If it's too confusing to you, then just fully block the one and then change and fully block the other. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Any other questions? Okay. All right, so then let us continue on. Okay, so we're gonna begin this practice finally. And um, this is an evening practice. This would be a practice that you would do um, perhaps uh, half an hour before bed, it could be done an hour before bed. It could be done right before bed. 
Um, it's a little long for ripe for bed, so I'm going to send you an abbreviated version with uh, on a PDF. But so if we're starting it right before, if we're starting it in the evening, we're starting in an upright position, standing or at this or also sitting on a chair, whichever works for you. And then we're going to be coming down to the floor or the bed, and we're going to be staying down. All right, so that's the energy. We're taking the energy down. So we're gonna start out standing. So go ahead, if you are standing, come up to a standing position. If you're using the chair, come into uh, sitting tall on the chair. And now I'm gonna see if I can get these two videos to go at the same time. I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen with the video, then we're gonna do it. So we'll inhale in place. And on the exhale, we're gonna slide halfway down. And on the inhale, we're gonna come back up. We'll do that four times. I'll lead you through that four times. Then we're gonna go all the way down on an exhale. And on the inhale, we'll come halfway up. And we'll go through that four times. I'll lead you through it. And then finally, we're gonna stay down for four breaths and I'll lead you through that. Okay, so that was just a demonstration with the video. So come into tall standing posture or tall seated, seated posture. Center your breath and your mind and your body all in one place. Feel your breath, inhale and exhale. Now inhale fully. And then as you exhale, slide your hands down your legs to behind your knees and just come into that halfway position. Inhale, come back up. On the exhale, again, slide the hands down the backs of the legs. Feel the low back rounding, tuck the chin, bend the knees a little bit. On the inhalation, lift the head and the chest and slide back up. On the exhalation, slide the hands down. And on the inhalation, lift your head, lift your chest, arch your way back up. Good. And on the exhalation, slide your hands back down. Stay here. And as you um, inhale in place, and then exhale and slide your hands all the way down. And then inhale and now lift your chest and head just halfway. Look forward, arch your back. And then exhale and slide your hands down again, come into the full forward bend. Inhale, lift your head, lift your chest, come halfway up, arch your back gently. Exhale, slide all the way down. And on your own, go ahead and do that two more times. Nice and slow breath and slow movement. And then the next time that you slide down, stay in the down position. Pause and breathe. Keep track of your breaths. Take four breaths an inhalation and an exhalation four times. Slowly, smoothly. When you have finished those four breaths, inhale and slide back up. and then take a quick look at the screen. We'll be doing the next posture will be um, either still in the chair if you're using chair or down on the knees. So I'll show you a quick clip of what this is gonna be. Now on this one, we're gonna begin to lengthen the exhalation over a series of six repetitions. So on the inhalation, we're gonna sweep both arms up over the head. And on the chair one, I'm doing a, I'm doing a um, a modified version with the arms, I apologize. Let me start this again. On the chair version that you see on the left, there's a modified arm position, okay? 
So, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm new at this part. I'm not, it's not working. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. So you, we're gonna inhale and sweep the arms up. This is just a demo. On the exhale, we're gonna sweep the left arm behind the back and take the right arm forward as we come down. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the head and chest, sweep the arms back up, and then reverse that. On the exhale, sweep the left, right arm behind, take the left arm forward and down, and then come back up. So when you come into that down position, you wanna make sure that you rest your hand on your lower back. So if you watch the video, the, the hand is resting on the lower back as you come down, okay? And we're gonna be, we're, in addition to all this work that's going on, we're gonna be increasing the length of exhale. We'll try, okay? So come into either your standing on the knees position or your seated on the chair position. And take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale, sweep both arms up and over the head. Exhale, sweep the left arm behind you, stretch the right arm forward. Inhale, lift the head and chest and arch as you come back up. Exhale, right arm behind you, left arm forward and down. Inhale, come back up. Now exhale, see if you can do about five counts as you exhale down, left arm behind you, right arm forward. Go ahead and inhale to come up. See if you can do about a five count exhale, take the right arm behind you and the left arm forward. And then inhale to come up. And then see if you can do about a six count exhale. See if you can slow it down a little bit. And if you can't, don't force it. And you'll inhale and come up. And see if you can do the other side with about a six count exhale. And you'll inhale and come up. And just exhale and release the arms. Good. Now we're just gonna do a simple little lateral twist. If you're a floor person, you'll be on hands and knees. If you're a chair person, you're still on your chair. And I'm just gonna show you a quick demo here. We'll inhale in place. And on the exhale, we'll just twist to the left. Inhale to the center and exhale, twist to the right. And we're gonna be increasing the exhalations again on this one. So start in the middle, either on hands and knees or in your chair. Inhale in place. Exhale about four counts as you twist to the left. Inhale about four counts as you come to center. Exhale four, twisting to the right. Inhale four to the center. Now exhale five to the left. Inhale four. Exhale five to the right. Continue to take yourself through. Inhaling is four. See if you can exhale six on the last two twists. Nice and slow movement here. As the breath increases, the movement slows down. And when you've finished all of those, if you're a floor person, come to lying on your back. And if you're a chair person, you can either shift to a bed or um, shift 
to the floor if you are able. We're gonna be staying down on the back for the rest of the postures. This is a much shorter practice than the previous ones. If you're on the chair, there's not really a good alternative for this one, so you'll just have to watch. So this is just bridge pose. I'm gonna show you the demo really quickly. I'm just gonna inhale and lift the hips. And then on the exhale, I pull the belly button in and I lower the spine and the hips. We're just gonna do four repetitions of this one today. So lie on the back with your knees bent, feet on the floor, arms by your sides. Center yourself in your breath, your body, your mind. With an inhalation, Press the feet down, squeeze the glutes, and lift the hips up slowly. With an exhalation, engage the abdominals and slowly lower the spine and the hips back down to the floor. Go ahead and just do three more, just like that, nice and slowly. So this practice is, you know, ideally done at night. And so it's a little bit, um, it's not very vigorous for this time of day, but we're just learning it. So uh, we're simulating that it's evening. After you've done four repetitions, just pause there. And now we're just gonna do a very simple movement of turning the head. So inhale right where you are in that position. As you exhale, slowly turn your head to the left. And then as you inhale again, slowly bring the head to center. And on a slow exhale, turn the head to the right. And inhale slowly to the center. Continue this alternating sides with long, smooth breaths until you've done a total of six. When you have finished that set of six head turns, the next posture will be a simple knees to chest. So don't, um, don't strain or crane your neck if it's um, not easy to see, but if you want to, I have a, a demo. Uh, you'll bend the knees. Uh, sorry, you, the knees are already bent. You'll lift your feet up off the floor and place your hands on each knee. Or if that's not comfortable, you can place both hands around one knee and just let the other leg do whatever it's comfortable to do. Um, and to, just to show the demo, um, it's an inhale in place and then an exhale and just slowly bring the knee or both knees in. And then inhale and release the lower legs, stay nice and relaxed, the feet and ankles are relaxed. So we're gonna do this with increasing exhale. Not a surprise, I'm sure. And we're gonna get those exhales a little bit longer. So go ahead and start if you haven't already and begin with about a four count inhale, four count exhale. Inhale will remain four counts throughout and let's add one count to each successive exhale. So your next one will be five count exhale. You're pulling in your, below your navel to help lengthen that exhale. The next repetition will be a six count exhale. 
Of course, calibrate it for your own comfort. Don't go beyond what's comfortable for you. If it's comfortable to continue increasing, the next one will be a seven count exhale. So everything's getting much slower now. And then the last two times will both be an eight count exhale. And when you have finished those two rounds with the eight count exhale, just place the feet back to the floor for a moment. So we're really getting into longer exhale now, slower movement. The next slide is showing um, the next posture, which is uh, a supine twist. On the right side of the screen, I, I'm there with a block between my knees and a blanket as a landing pad. That's how I like to do it because that's what works best for me and my back and my hips. On the left side of the screen will be a variation where I just um, keep the feet on the floor and I just gently take the knees one side into the other. So I'll show both an example of both of these. We inhale in place and on an exhale, we twist to one side with the legs as we turn the head to the other side. And then we inhale and come back to the center. And then we exhale and go the other way. We're gonna do some repetitions back and forth. I'll be leading you through those. And then eventually we're gonna stay in the twist for a couple rounds. So wherever you are, come back to the center. You might have to make some adjustments on the, on the space that you're in so you have room to twist. So I'm just gonna wait until I see everyone's ready to go. Okay. So come into the center with your knees up, either feet on the floor or feet lifted, arms out to the sides, palms are down. Your arms are a little lower than shoulder height. Inhale here, about four counts. Exhale about five counts, taking the knees to the left, turning the head to the right. Then inhale four counts to the center. And exhale five, knees to the right, head to the left. Inhale remains four counts to the center. Exhale six to the left with your knees. Inhale remains four. Exhaling six to the right, slow it down. Inhale center, four counts. See if you can exhale um, seven or eight. And inhale, knees to center. And exhale seven or eight to the right. Then inhale, four counts to the center. And now exhale seven or eight counts to the left. And we're gonna stay here. And at the end of the exhale, pause the breath one or two seconds. Stay there and inhale four. Let your belly expand on the inhale. Stay and exhale six or seven or eight. Pulling the belly button in. Pausing one or two seconds at the end of that exhale. Stay again to inhale about four. Stay there to exhale six or seven or eight, whatever's comfortable. 
with a one or two second pause after the exhale and stay for one more round of breath, just like you've been doing. Don't let my instructions speed you up. Take your time with your breath. When you have completed the last, which would have been four breaths on that side, you'll take a four count inhale to center, about a six, seven, or eight count exhale to the right, pause for one or two seconds, and then stay there for three more rounds of breath. Four count inhale, six, seven, or eight count exhale, one or two count pause after exhale. Take your time with it. This is really the gold of the practice. These long, smooth, slow exhales. When you have completed those total of four, inhale and come back to the center. Take your time, don't let my instructions rush you. Then if you need to take a rest, you can place the feet down on the floor for a moment. We're gonna go back to the knees to chest posture. I'll just show it here again. You're just gonna be bringing the knees or one knee at a time close in, but we're gonna do a little bit more work here with breath. So when you're ready, place the hands on each knee or the hands on one knee. I forgot to mention, I apologize. If you're doing it one knee at a time, of course you'll wanna switch. After three on one side, you'll switch and do three on the other. My apologies. So what you wanna do here is inhale in place about four counts. Exhale five counts to pull the knees or one knee in. Inhale remains four, straighten the arms. Exhale six counts. Inhale four. The next exhale is seven. Inhale four. Exhale eight. Now inhale four, stay in the straight arm position and exhale eight. Pull the belly button in as you're exhaling eight. At the end of that exhale, pause the breath and pull the knees in on the pause. And then inhale four and straighten the arms. Stay in the straight arm position and exhale eight. At the end of that eight count exhale, pause the breath and pull the knees in on the pause after the exhale. And repeat, inhale four, straighten the arms. Stay in the straight arm position to exhale eight. At the end of the eight count exhale, pause the breath and pull the knees in on the pause. Go ahead and do one more round where you pull the knees in on the pause after the eight count exhale.
Beautiful. And then go ahead and place your feet down to the floor. So the next um, part of the practice is the pranayama. So bring yourself slowly over to your side and up to a sitting position. So the important thing about the pranayama is to have a nice opening for the chest and the belly. So you want to be able to sit up tall. So if that if you're able to sit up on a cushion, cross-legged and stay nice and tall, great. If that is difficult, then sit on a chair so you can lean against the back of the chair and still remain upright. So I've got the um, slide here with the um, the the chart of what we're going to be doing, but I'm also going to talk us through it. Okay. So we're going to use our right hand, the right thumb and the right ring finger. So begin by inhaling four seconds through both nostrils. Fully block the right side with the thumb, partially block the left and exhale left four counts. Release and inhale through both, four counts. Fully block the left, partially block the right, and exhale, four. Go ahead and repeat that whole line one more time. Then you'll move to the second line, inhaling four seconds through both. Exhale six through the partially blocked left, fully blocked right. Inhale four through both. Exhale six through the partially blocked right. Repeat that line one more time. Take your time. It's slowing down now. Engage your abdominal muscles, especially below the navel to help you lengthen your exhales. When you have finished that second round, move to the third line on the chart. Inhale four, exhale eight, inhale four, exhale eight, doing it four times.
when you have completed all of those rounds and don't let me rush you, the next um, posture will be Shavasana, which is relaxation pose. So complete your pranayama. If you aren't finished yet, don't let me rush you. Um, and then when you are complete, go ahead and lie down on your back and make sure that you're comfortable. So you may want to cover up. You may want to put a blanket, a rolled blanket under your knees, which helps your lower back. Or you may want a blanket folded under your head. We're going to begin with a, a simple focusing exercise, a very short, simple focusing exercise here. So once you're settled into your spot, have the arms be down by the sides of the body. Take a nice, long, slow inhale. And as you do, slowly flex the right ankle and spread out the toes. Take an equally long, smooth exhale and relax the ankle slowly. And then repeat that on the left side, slowly and smoothly. On the next inhale, as you flex the ankle, also stretch the right, the opposite arm, the, the left arm up over the head to the floor behind you as you flex your right ankle. And then with a slow exhale, slowly lower the arm and slowly relax the ankle. Everything is slow motion now. And then slow motion on the opposite side, flexing the left ankle, raising the right arm. And slow motion to repeat. And then bring the hands onto your belly. And just let your hands get some biofeedback from the natural movement that happens with your breath. Feel the belly, feel the hands gently rise as the belly gently rises. See if you can deepen the breath a little bit. Slightly deeper inhale, feeling the belly fill, hands gently rise. And then a nice relaxing exhale, no need to activate the abdominals anymore. Just let the belly relax down as you exhale. Taking about two or three more of those slightly deeper belly breaths. And then allow your arms to rest down by the sides of the body again. If it's comfortable for you, the classic posture is that the arms are just a little bit away from the body and the palms roll up. That's not always comfortable for everybody. So have your arms and hands be in a position that's comfortable for you. We'll begin this guided relaxation with a body scan. We'll coordinate it with the breath. So bring your attention to the right foot. And as you inhale, gently flex the right foot, gently spread the toes. And as you exhale, slowly relax the foot.
and then bring your attention into the right leg. And as you inhale, again, slowly flex the ankle, spread the toes and tighten the muscles of the right leg. And as you exhale, slowly release the leg and the foot. Bring your attention to your left foot. And the next time that you inhale, slowly flex the ankle and spread the toes. And with a slow, smooth exhale, release the foot. And bring your attention into your left leg. And the next time that you inhale, Slowly flex the ankle, spread the toes, tighten the muscles of the leg. And on a slow exhale, release. And bring your attention to the hips and the buttocks, the thighs. And as you inhale, Engage the hip muscles, the gluteus muscles, the thigh muscles, squeeze. And as you exhale, release, let go. Take a few moments to just breathe and relax in the lower body. And bring your attention to the area of the belly. And as you inhale, gently expand the belly. As you exhale, allow it to relax back down. Bring your attention to area of the chest and the shoulder blades, so the upper torso. As you inhale, squeeze your shoulders toward each other in the front so the chest is sort of collapsed and squeezed. And then as you exhale, release, let go. And then with your next inhale, take your shoulders toward each other in the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feel your chest stretch open. And as you exhale, release, let go. Bring your attention to the tops of your shoulders. And as you inhale, shrug your shoulders upward toward your ears. And then as you exhale, relax the shoulders down. Bring your attention into the right hand. As you inhale, squeeze the right fist. And as you exhale, release. Bring your attention into the right arm. And as you inhale, squeeze the fist again, tighten the muscles of the arm. You can bend the elbow a little bit if you want to feel the bicep tightening. On the exhale, release, let it go. Bring your attention to the left hand. With an inhale, squeeze the fist. And with an exhale, let it go. Bring your attention into the right arm. And with an inhale, squeeze the fist, squeeze the arm muscles. And with an exhale, let it go. Let's take a moment now and let the whole upper body, torso and arms, relax. 
Let the belly relax, the lower back. Let the hips relax, the legs, the feet. Then bring your attention to the facial muscles. And as you inhale, scrunch up your face like you've eaten a lemon. And as you exhale, relax. Bring your attention to your jaw. And as you inhale, gently relax, open the jaw. Let the bottom jaw drop down. And as you exhale, relax and let the jaw come back to whatever is a comfortable, relaxed position. Bring your attention to your eyebrows. And as you inhale, raise the eyebrows. And as you exhale, relax. Very gently, on an exhale, turn the head to one side. And with an inhale, come back to the center. And on an exhale, gently turn to the opposite side. And on the inhale, come center. And take a few moments now. Let the whole body relax. Feel the back of the body resting on the surface. Taking the time to allow the larger muscles of the body to let go. Allowing the body to sink into its natural released position. Muscles and tendons tend to remain a little tense for a while. So it's important to give time for relaxation. There's a full transition that takes place as we give it more time. So begin to gently, without disturbing yourself too much, just begin to move a little bit. So imagine if you were doing this practice at night, you don't want to hop right up. Uh, you want to keep the calm energy that you've created. So take your time and roll over.
Don't need to leave. You can just double click and push unmute you guys. I know. I just wonder if I can do it though. And that was the uh, that was the practice. Thank you guys for coming. I'm here. Yeah. I can stay a couple minutes if anybody has questions. Um, let me stop the recording.